fine so what parser will do this is called parser button parser means it will simply parse it and check it whether your query is right or wrong it will only check the syntax it don't check the user things and all these are the user stuff okay it will think might be this is the table name it won't check whether this table is existed or not okay it will simply check the spelling mistakes okay spelling mistakes in the syntax not in the object names and all okay so if you select this one and if you just go for this parse button it will tell you incorrect syntax near student clearly it is showing oh okay now it is saying right usually it won't say sometimes it will say sometimes it won't say yeah so if you just double click on it you want to highlight it you can just double click on there the line will be highlighted if you have 10 lines you want to know where the exact error is just double click on the error okay the line will be highlighted here fine so now what is the error here you can simply check this is the error okay so oh sorry into okay so now if you just select it and if you run it okay it will simply shows command completed successfully but it won't consider this object name okay it will treat this as a correct object name but actually this object is not existed this is student right so it was you have to write like this okay so it was just one minute okay let me give you Wait, okay you can record okay fine so parse button before writing the query before sorry before running the query it's always better to go with the parse button first okay in case of any errors are there you can easily identify with the help of this parse button parse button will simply check whether the query is right or wrong okay and just click on execute button now you can see one row is affected one row is affected means one row is inserted inside the table now if you see if you want to see that row run again the select query select star from student okay now you can see earlier this table is empty right no column no records are there now you can see one record one ramu eighth class if you want to insert second one okay you have to simply okay edit you can edit it second record and you can change it to damu okay let me remove this r damu and he is from ninth standard okay if you want to run it you can run it second record if you execute the select query you can see two records are there one ramu two damu okay so like this how many records you want okay so you can just copy this one and you can edit the column you can edit the script okay if you want five records just copy for five times and edit this one so now let me edit so second one is completed let me go with third record okay so move in class fourth one right something like sorus you can no need to change this this is not compulsory just i'm changing okay you can keep it as standard you can keep it as same eighth standard seventh standard it can be duplicated why because lot of students will be there from same standard right it can be duplicated but numbers cannot be duplicated numbers cannot be duplicated since we are we are we are studying since 20 25 years right so did you ever see anyone is there with your same roll number in your register no no right so roll numbers are going to be different even though the names might be lot of same names will be there in a class lot of same names will be there lot of people will be there with the same name but how we can identify with the help of roll numbers so roll numbers cannot be duplicated but here you can give the same roll number it won't throw any error if you don't want to give like that you have to okay introduce one more parameter called primary key if you give primary key on the column student number column it won't allow duplicate values if you don't give primary key on the column it will allow duplicate values okay right so in the same way so right let me execute this one 4 5 right let me go with danish okay and sixth record okay right 
right if i insert i can insert all the records at a time okay select all the script uh, all the queries and just go for execute button or all text button i just use all text button this time so that's why you cannot see execute here and if you run it now total you can see how many records are there see here total seven records are there second one is duplicated again so i have already run this query script again i just ran it so that's why you can see second record is duplicated with all the values if you don't want to repeat this one you have to create a primary key on the student number column so if you create primary key it won't allow duplicate so you simply if you run the whole script now it will throw the error okay primary key violation error it will throw okay so this is how you can see the student table clear guys this uh, is how yes, yes can i ask vendor yes yes um telugu lo aduguduna yeah yeah no problem ah ikkada manam ramu ani ichcham kada ala manam command rase tappudu first name ramu laga last name manaki एग्जिस्टिंग टेबल for the first time you have to give all the names manually or you can follow you can load the data from excel sheet also but excel sheet also you have to give it manually right yes yes so how many records are there all the records has to be give manually but here good question so for example you are like you are ordering an a product from amazon okay so you just open amazon database and you are ordering one product so you will log in with your id right you will log in with your mm -hmm. user email id or something like that you will have your own details right so for example now you just selected one product say for example i want to buy this phone okay you just selected this product and you just add it to the cart and you just go to the buy section and you want to buy this product okay buy now so once i just click okay it is going to ask my credentials so here automatically whoever buy this product this information will goes into the existing tables already tables will be existed right fine okay. why because right. once you just selected this product once you added this car once you added this product to the cart once you completed the payment all your information who buy this who bought this product when they bought at what price they bought what is the delivery address everything will be automatically inserted into the table back end table now no, there no one is going to manually insert the data got the point so actually data will comes to the table from application side amazon is an application here yes. whatever things you are going to select automatically those things will be inserted in the respect to back end tables so you can ask sir big big uh, applications will be there how can i insert who will insert each record manually no one will insert each record manually if you want yeah, you can do it yeah. Yeah. yeah if you very, want to yes if you want you can insert manually but usually data will comes from the application side application will directly insert the data to the respective columns okay got it got it yeah so the table will be there in the back end okay so for example let me create the table create table like this kind of table will be there create table sales okay amazon sales here it will be there uh, sales id integer customer name where care of 100 okay uh, product he bought product where care of 100 customer name tarvata comma ivaledu shannu okay okay i'll give it uh, no no see this is the whole thing okay so don't give like this this is the sales id integer you have to after customer name first you have to declare the data type then you have to give comma 
okay okay this is the whole thing this is one thing and this is another thing column name data type then comma okay product okay. and where care of 100 next is cost okay money next is delivery address okay where care of 100 so this kind of table will be already created let me go with the paytm now okay paytm is a shopping site right so let me go with this paytm i'll create this table in the paytm right so now table is created in the paytm you can see here okay amazon sales of course paytm sales okay so now if you execute this one use paytm and here you can drag and drop the table name like this also no need to type complete name okay so you can like this also you can drag and drop the table so now if you execute this one you can see here sales id customer name product cost delivery address so whenever you bought something in the paytm paytm application will insert your data into this table automatically got it okay yeah so just one minute guys just one minute hello hello Okay. Right. Okay. So, from the application side, from Paytm application, if you if you just log into Paytm and if you just bought any products, automatically, automatically the data will be inserted in this table. Okay. So this is how the data will be inserted. So ninety nine percent is always always data will comes from the application side only. Okay. So nothing to worry from the uh, like data side and all. Everything will be inserted with the help of application side only. Application will insert the data. into the tables developers will write the logic like that okay so they are going to write the logic like that so nothing to worry about the data in case if you want to create manually also you can give manually and you can insert the data manually also this is how we are going to do right so that's it for today and uh, let me give you assignment so for tomorrow's class create employee table with employee number employee name salary okay with these three columns create a table in the employee database first create employee database and in the employee database create an employee table with these three columns okay fine right and create one more database called movies database create movies database and create two tables for movies one is collections okay second one is records whatever columns you want to insert that is your wish two tables i am not asking two columns 
ओके वन इज कलेक्शन मूवी नेम ओके हाउ मच कलेक्शन क्रॉस कलेक्शन रिकॉर्ड मीन ओके लेट्स डिलीट दिस वन रिकॉर्ड मीन लीव इट ओके विल गो विद मूवीज एंड ओके let's go with the at least basic type of basic yes, yes. table okay colors okay just create a table of colors color id color name okay might be you can give cost or something like that okay so just create these two tables in one database this employee table in the employee database okay so this is the work for the next class yes tomorrow what is the update are you going to attend the session tomorrow is vinayak chauti Sir, no problem. No problem. Everyone, I need response from no everyone. Problem, if every, everyone is okay, I'll take the class. Sir, no problem. Sir. Yes, yes. Sir. No problem, sir. Everyone no is problem, okay, sir. right? Okay, then good. Okay, okay so yes, tomorrow, sir. yeah, tomorrow we are going to connect okay, the, at same time. Okay, at seven a.m. only we are going to connect and we'll discuss the classes. Okay, right. Thank you, guys. Okay, so you have to complete this assignment yes, by Thank tomorrow you, seven a.m. Yeah. Don't forget to create these tables and databases. Okay, please create it. And just create the tables inside the database. Okay. okay. Yes, any questions? Any doubts? Sir, sir, I have doubts, sir. Yes. Sir, 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 s